Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we're back with the Asus VivoBook E403 with some viewer questions that I wanted to get answered, so I'm going to answer them right now. The first question uh, actually came in from uh, Mike Murphy, who wanted to know if we could charge this device via USB Type-C. So uh, what I've got here is my USB Type-C cable that's plugged into my Apple MacBook charger. It's the only USB-C charger I've got, but uh, it does charge other computers that uh, support that kind of charging. So what I'm going to do now is just plug it into that USB-C port on here and we'll pull up our uh, close-up camera here and see if it's charging and the answer is no it is not charging and I do have everything plugged in properly so it does not look like uh, this can charge via USB type C even though some people have said it could and our next question came in from Patrick Kroger who was curious about the speed of its internal drive so this has 128 gigabytes of storage which is very good uh, but it's running with a slower eMMC drive so it'll be a little bit slower than a traditional SSD might let's take a look at our speed test on here we'll see what kind of write and read speeds we're getting. Uh, we're getting writes anywhere from like 50 to 60 to 90 megabytes per second. We're running on the higher side of my testing now uh, and read speeds around 130 to 150 megabytes per second. So this puts it kind of where uh, I would expect a traditional spinning drive to be, uh, but you do have the solid state drives that have a little bit more durability, but it's not going to be as fast as a traditional solid state drive. So EMMC storage is a little bit slower, but it's also a lot more affordable for the manufacturers, which keeps the price down. So uh, again, those are the calculations these manufacturers make when they're trying to hit a certain price point. So at uh, 399 uh, this is kind of the performance you'll get uh, out of that drive there, but uh, still a pretty decent computer. Our last question came in from a very frequent viewer, Chris Wheeler. He was curious as to whether or not you could upgrade the RAM or storage on it. Uh, the answer is no. Both of those things are uh, soldered onto the motherboard here. Again, that's another way to reduce cost because they don't have to have as much labor to put all the stuff together uh, when they're building it. So uh, you're locked in with that four gigabytes of uh, RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. That's going to do it for our uh, Asus uh, Z VivoBook uh, E403 SA. I want to thank everyone for your questions on it. This one is going back to Asus as it's on loan, uh, but uh, we'll get more to come. Do keep letting me know what computers you'd like to see from Asus as well as other manufacturers down in the comments below. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.